Are we ready for psychic stuff? You bet you are. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 31. Let the check. Yeah, part 31 of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. So let's head into the gym. Yo, champ in the making. Surprised by all the glitz and glam, Saffron City is the biggest city in Kanto, and its gym gets its fair share of challenges, too. You'll need to have a Pokemon that's at least level 45 if you want to stand any chance. Well, do you have one? Yeah, I do. If you've been diligent enough to fight every single trainer, then this should be no problem to you, honestly. In fact, that's probably, like, the steepest requirement, honestly. Like, the whole level 45 thing. Like, like that's a pretty steep requirement. But, that's okay. Because if you've been diligent in fighting Pokemon trainers like I have been, well, it shouldn't be any problem to you. If you have a Pokemon that's at least level 45. Or if you've caught in any certain Pokemon that have fit that requirement as well. Hmm. Are you scared of psychics that use unseen power? Uh, no. Because you don't really do anything except use Pokemon, obviously. I, li I like how the Psychic's Pokeballs are still in his model. I like it. So anyway, this gym uses Psychic-type Pokemon. Oh, how times have changed. And what I mean by that is, I mean, the days where Psychic-types were OP are long gone at this point because now that we have the dark type to balance it all out psychic types are no longer the OP type anymore it's fairy types that are the OP type now or at least they were in gen 6 when they were introduced that critical yes mate yay yeah I wanted to switch out for that yawn mate yeah yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good GG. GG. Good game, good game with that with that yawn. GG, GG. Or that psychic, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> okay, so yes, this gym uses psychic type Pokemon. So Dark type, Dark type moves, and bug type moves are your closest friends here. And given that other types exist. If you actually kept around your Alola Rattata and have it be an Alolan Raticate at this point, then honestly, you're good. <laughs> that should have been the thumbnail, but I have to have the thumbnail be the gym leader, so whoops. <laughs> um, if you have Alolan Raticate, who is a dark type, then, you know, good. Pretty good. In fact, actually, um, can I search my type in the Pokedex? Actually... Just to let you know what type... Oh, no, I can only search by those. Okay. Or I can go by scene only. Yeah, that's that's good, too. <laughs> it's it's all good. It's all good. So, yeah, basically have an Alolan Pokemon that's, uh, you know, dark type. Like Alolan Persian or Alolan Raticate. You know? Just have those Pokemon and you're good to go. Because, you know, dark types, dark type move, dark type Pokemon are completely unaffected by psychic type moves. You must be a lost trainer. Yes, I am, because Saffron Gym, I know how to get around the original and remake, but not the second remake, because this is actually completely different. I mean, this gym honestly looks, is honestly the coolest gym. Like, psychic type gyms, as probably a rule of thumb, has always been the coolest gym in terms of, you know, just aesthetics. Like, y'all sleep... <laughs> to bring up Pokemon X and Y, y'all sleep on Pokemon X and Y, but let's not forget that it had the coolest gym in that game, period. That Olympia's gym in, in X and Y was the coolest thing in terms of aesthetics alone. Because you were in space. 
Yes, indeed. You were in space. And now in Pokemon Let's Go, this has been buffed up. But in terms of the puzzle, I think it's actually kind of different. To be perfectly honest. Because, because I'm not seeing the uh, warp panels that you have to go up, up, left, then down, then over to, you know, Sabrina. No. Because this time they completely changed the game on that. Instead, now it's more like a maze whenever you think about it. Because I don't know the exact pattern. I don't know the exact, exact pattern that you're supposed to... Yeah, you're supposed to do in order to, you know, get to Sabrina. So, this could be trouble for even the closest of veterans in the Pokemon universe. Sabrina is younger than me, but she's earned my respect. I'm pretty sure she has. Oh yeah, and also Ghost-type moves will do rather nicely. Don't use Ghost-type Pokemon. By the way, don't use them. Hey, Jinx. You still have the longest cry in existence, but, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, don't use Ghost-type Pokemon here, because with the original 151, um, Ghost-type Pokemon were delegated to Ghost and Poison. So, effectively, Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar, they're, they're multi-type, and they are not very good matchups for second-type Pokemon at all, so don't bring them in there. Just don't bring him in. However, use Ghost-type moves. Like, you know, Shadow Ball and the Dream Eater. So, use them. Okay, don't do Lovely Kiss again, because I don't want to... Good. Good. Don't worry, we're going to run into Wild Jinxes later. Oh, and by the way, fun fact about Jinx, in the original games... And also the GBA remakes. There were no other Jinxes other than the one that you could have traded for. But thank God for Pokemon Let's Go. Because now you can get as many of those traded Pokemon as you want. Thank Christ. Also, did I fight you already? Yeah, I did. Try aiming for the higher platforms. Yeah, that's your best... That's honestly the best tip that I can give you. Just... Try aiming for the higher platforms. If you already ran into, like, a... Try running... If you already run into a platform that already had a trainer that you fight on, just go for one that's on a higher platform, like this. Really, that's the only... That's really the only best advice I can give you at this point. Just try every war panel to see what works. And to see what doesn't work. All right, uh, Evie Jr. Yeah, Ch Charlie Jr., get in here. I meant to say Evie Jr., but, you know, whatever. You and I are Pokemon shall battle. Um, yeah, yeah, you you do that. You have your Pokemon battle me, Imari. You do that. All right, something to potentially counter the own type. Interesting, but you're still not a psychic type, buddy. You're not that good. You're not that good. But whatever. There weren't many there weren't that many psychic types to go around anyway, despite the fact that there are 151 Pokemon. And two of those were like super super legendary, so whoops. Whoops on that. If only you could go under the truck in Vermilion City. Then you would be able to get, you know, the Mew. But that's delegated to an accessory that I will explain when we do all the side stuff. Because you you might have noticed during this playthrough that I haven't gone over any, you know, important side things. Don't worry about that because that time will come soon enough. Like, I'll give you a time frame. After the 8th gym. I lost after all. Like, either after the 7th gym... No, no, no. After the 8th gym. After the 8th gym. That'll do it. That'll basically do it. And because I have to fight every single one, well, there it is. Here's another Psychic, which, honestly, I think the protagonist from Persona 3 was stolen. 
because that looks almost like him. That almost looks like Makoto. Look, just look at him. No, Makoto from Persona 3, not Makoto from, not Makoto from Persona 5. Like, like, I'm going with default names here. And the default name that I'm going with, which is what the anime, na anime named him, which is Makoto Yuki. But, like, <laughs> doesn't he look like the Persona 3 protagonist? Does he? He does. Arrgh! You don't really look that mad, but <laughs> you, you honestly... You don't even look that mad. It's just like, meh. I could care less, man. I could care less. I'm way too stoked. Or not stoked. Or not stoked enough. I don't even know. I don't know. Sabrina is young, but she's our highly skilled gym leader. You, I won't let you reach her easily. I mean, you are an H trainer, so you could give me trouble, but I'm not that worried at all, Cameron. You, you have the same name. As the dude who cucked Ash in the Unova League. I'm, I'm still calling it as a cuck. Because Unova was cucks. In the anime. That due to unfortunate circumstances. Could have had a great story. But. You know. Unfortunate circumstances happen. And instead you could go with. Uh, with. A Pokemon anime series. That has good parts in it. I'm sorry, I still stand by the fact that... I still stand by by the fact that... Pokemon Black and White had really good parts in it. The anime, at least. Not the games, because the games are all good. The games are good. But, you know, the anime was... Kind of a step down from Diamond and Pearl, but it wasn't bad. It definitely wasn't bad, but it was just not the same. Also down and out, the same as my... as same as Bobby. Same way that Bobby went. How tragic. Also, from this point on, I'm just going to take guesses. Because I believe I fought every trainer I can here. But it's just like, you know, now's the point where I actually do kind of get lost. And I have to figure out where the heck to go. Yeah, the ability called prog Precognition. Isn't that what Mementos is made out of? Cognition. Because cognition is a thing. Alright, is this it? No. You see? You see? <laughs> see, this is like a completely different pattern. And I'm like, oh, okay, there I go. I found it. I found Sabrina. Thank God. And I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. So, all the Pokemon that I have fainted... They will be healed up, and they will be as is. So, probably the Pokemon that I have faith in most is... Anybody that can counter Psychic types. So, pretty much anybody that has Shadow Ball or Bite. Or Dark, Pul or Dark Pulse, even. But I don't want to cheese the fight, though. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead with Bobby, actually. Bobby up front to do this. As I load up the information for Sabrina, let's do it. Isn't that so cool? So you've come. I've had a vision of your arrival. I've had psychic powers since I was a child. It started when I carelessly threw a spoon aside and it bent itself into an unnatural shape. I dislike battling, but if you wish to, and I will show you my power. You know, Sabrina can be creepy as fuck. But she's so creepy as fuck in the anime. Like, oh my god. Like, oh, oh my god. I, our Pokeball floats in the air. That's actually kind of cool. Alright, Mr. Mime. Level 43, Psychic Fairy type. Yes, Mr. Mr. Mime is now classified as a fairy type as well. Psychic, Reflect... Light screen and double slap. So, what this thing is commonly going to do is set up a light screen and reflect so that physical and special effects... Special effects. Yeah, physical and special attacks will hurt a lot less. But really, what you have to, what you have to worry about for the psychic types is the fact that uh, 
physical attacks are pretty much the way to go because psychic types are not really that known for having that great of a defense. Also, I have no idea why I decided to go for Swift. Maybe it was just a thing that I decided to do because I thought Swift would kill, but nope. But oh well! Mr. Mime down. Next up is her Slowbro. Level 43, Water Psychic type. With Psychic, Yawn, Surf, and Calm Mind. So you probably know what this Slowbro strategy is going to be. Yawn to make you drowsy, and then the next turn make you asleep. Calm Mind to to buff off its special attack and special defense. And then just completely, utterly decimate the game with Psychic and Surf. Except if you have a same, if you have a weakness to any one of those types. So, yeah, that's kind of why Flareon decided to be the fail, I guess. All right, so we have Jolteon against that, so we're gonna use Thunderbolt, and we're basically gonna end it right there. <laughs> Billy is now level 48. Next up is her Jinx, level 43, Ice Psychic type, Psychic, Lovely Kiss, and Ice Punch. Kind of a decent move pool for Jinx, honestly. But, you know, a couple of Shadow Balls will take care of it. And no. No, sir. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with that. Sh no. Come on, wait. No. It's weird. Sleep always lasts longer for me, but it always lasts like one or two turns for the opponent. I, I don't get that. I mean, the last time it happened, it lasted two turns, but the inconsistency in the RNG was just not good to me that day. Also, I completely forgot to mention, like, one detail that I appreciate going forward with the Pokemon games nowadays is the fact that you no longer have the constant beeping for whenever a Pokemon is at very low health. So thank God they got rid of the beeping. Uh, yeah, Vape Pen. I mean, Vape Pen pretty much has the most HP, as well as no weaknesses to any one of the attacks, so we're good there. And with this Shadow Ball, this should do it for Jinx. And there it is. And finally, we get to our last Pokemon. Alakazam. Level 44, Psychic type, Psychic and Nightshade. Honestly, that's all it needs because Alakazam, while notwithstanding, you know, really, really powerful Pokemon, is the most powerful special attacker in the whole game. So, yeah, have fun with that one. Have fun with that. So, I'm hoping this doesn't, like, KO my uh, Vaporeon because go back for, like, all my evolutions, yeah. I now effectively feel bad for all of my evolutions at this point. Because they were done dirty. They were all done dirty. It was their last hurrah. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go bite. I swear, if bite actually kills, that would be amazing. It's amazing. I mean, it was at half health, so you wanted to expect, but... Yeah. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's kind of weird how level scaling works, because... Well, first of all, this loss shocks me! But a loss is a loss. I admit, I didn't work hard enough to win. I mean, you kind of worked up... You kind of worked up my Pokemon. You took out half of my team, though. Your victory has earned you a Marsh Badge. Yeah! So now, a po traded Pokemon up to level 70 will obey us. And you get the TM for Calm Mind, which raises special attack and special defense. 
Psychic power isn't something only a few people have. Everyone has psychic power. People just don't realize it. Psychic power, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so back on topic with that. Um, it's kind of weird how, you know, the next two, Fuchsia Gym and Saffron City Gym, have, like, gym leaders that are basically the same level. <laughs> Look at the little dude. He's so happy. He's so happy, man. Let's gobble him up. Gobble up the things. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of weird how... How, uh... What am I trying to say here? God. Um, it's kind of weird how Koga and Sabrina basically are on the same levels when it comes to their Pokemon. Like... They're, like, level 43 for their first three, and then their strongest is level 44. Which is extremely odd. Like, you would think it would be higher than that, but apparently it isn't. Also, if you're basing it on Pokemon, like... If you're basing this game off of Pokemon Yellow, you would think that the teams would change up to be... To be basically on par with Pokemon Yellow, which... Let's just say the second half of Pokemon Yellow is kind of a grind... And, uh, the grind being that Koga has three Venom Nets that are level 44, 46, and 48, and then a Venomoth that's level 50. And then you have Sabrina that has a level 50 Abra, Kadabra, and Alakazam. And then the rest of the gym leaders are basically in the level 50s. But instead, it's just like, you know, the teams are more meant to be, you know, Pokemon red and blue, which... You know, I mean, that's okay. I mean, that's fine, you know? But, you know, you just gotta go with, you know, with that. You know, it's just, yeah. It's just weird like that. It's it's honestly just really, really weird. But anywho, we have done it, folks. We've gotten our sixth badge. We only have two more to go. And not much... Not much of Kanto left. I say, not much of Kanto left. Jesus Christ. What is up with me? <laughs> Jesus. So, really, the only things left to do is to explore the southern Kanto. And go through a few more locations. And then that'll be it. That'll be it for fully exploring Kanto, and it should be it for going with the gym leaders. So with all that said, we're done here. So finally, we're going to do some surfing next time, as we are now on Route 19. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.